Yes, in this tutorial, I'm going to be walking us through how to upload a Laravel project to cPanel from GitHub. All right now, the present state of this project is done, but the online version is empty, as you can see. So the first step for me is to upload this project and push it to GitHub, which I've already done in this step. Now we have this code in GitHub. If you check this page, this was uploaded three minutes ago. So the next step for me is to come to the cPanel where I want to upload this project and I will search for SSH access. From SSH access, I'll generate a new SSH key. Something about cPanel is that you will not be able to generate SSH key because it forces you to use um, key password so what i'm going to do is i'll right click on this and go to inspect element and then i'll remove this keyframe and the enter other key pass from the dom i'll come here and then i'll delete this from the dom delete elements i would also come here which is the re-enter password and i'll remove it from the dom now i have two elements removed from the dom and then i can go ahead and generate key now the key is generated successfully let me close this go back this key is not yet authorized so i'll need to authorize it manage and then authorize the key now that this key is successfully authorized i'll view this key and I'll copy it. By the way, if you try to use this key after this video, I would have deleted it. So don't even try to use it. So let me copy this. Then I'll come to GitHub where I have this project uploaded five minutes ago. And I'll do settings. And I'll go to deploy keys. I have no deploy keys added, so I'll need to add one. I'll just call it JerryTech website key and then I'll paste it here. Do I need to allow right access? No. I just need it as a deploy key. So let me close it. Requesting authentication code completed and now I'm logged in back into GitHub. So let me come back to cPanel and the next thing I'll need to do is to deploy this application so I'll look for git version control I currently do not have any version control so I'll create one and the URL I want to clone I'll get that from github which is my repository you are royal. I'll come to code, clone, and then I'll clone using SSH. I'll copy it, come back to git version control and paste this. Repository name, I would call it Jeritel Computers websites it's fine take computer website character computers it is fine and then I would create the computer website and then I'll create yes this is successfully cloned so the next thing i'll need to do is to come here go to file manager and we can see we have our website here jerita computer website 
everything currently looks good. However, we cannot still visit this application because the website is uploaded at the top root, not within the public underscore HTML. So what we need to do in order for this website to display successfully is to come here, create a copy of everything we have within the public directory, select all, and then copy. And then we'll copy this to public underscore HTML. then copy files so right now we should have a copy of everything we have in our public directory to public underscore html and i can go ahead and remove the cgi bin however if you visit this application at this time you're going to get error so what we need to do is to open index.php and edit it At this time, currently, the index.php is pointing one step upward to go into the storage directory and also one step upward into vendor and bootstrap. We've already changed the way Laravel works by uploading this application to a different directory in cPanel. So what we need to do is to go one step upward and then go into the directory where our application is deployed into, which is Jerrytech Computers website. That is the name of the folder where we deployed our application. So I'll copy this and I'll do the same thing to vendor and I'll do the same thing to bootstrap. Now this file looks good. I will save it. If this tutorial is informative, Please support me by subscribing to this channel, like this video, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. Even at this point, if we visit this application, it's still not going to work. Because something is missing. You remember when we deployed our application to... When we upload our application to GitHub, the vendor directory and our .env don't usually get uploaded. These are among the files we put into our gitignore. So we need to come back to cPanel and upload these files manually to cPanel. So I'll come to my application folder and then I would upload the vendor file and the .env file. So I'll come here and I'll say upload and then I'll put in vendor. This will take a couple of minutes to upload. So in the meantime, let me also upload the .env file. While this is uploading, I will come here, create a new file, and call it .env. If you did not see your .env after creating a file, ensure you come here to Settings, Show Hidden Files, and then Save. Now the .env is showing. I will open up the .env and then I will paste in a copy of my .env from my local edit edit and then paste in a copy of my dot env and then save right now my dot env is active while my file is being uploaded let's wait for this file to finish uploading and then we'll come back okay we are back our vendor zip file has finished uploading so let's go back to the file manager right now I can come to the vendor zip and then extract the file extract extraction is done and I can delete the vendor zip
If I come back to the application at this time, this application should be working. Still, it's not working. It says the composer dependency require PHP 8.2, whereas we have 7.2.34 sets in our cPanel. In order to solve this, I'll go back to cPanel and then I'll look for within the cPanel, I'll come to software and then multi php manager or i can search for multi php manager from the search here so i'll click on multi php manager select the website i'm working on and then change the php version to 7.2 and then save at this time this website should start working unless we have another error to solve no any other error to solve, our application is completely deployed and everything is working fine.